you, you have your head down, you're working hard for your career, but there are these moments in time where you need to kind of look around and pause and say, is there a major change happening? And that's what Bill did very successfully. The thing, you know, when you think about building equity, the, the biggest issue that I find is that people stay too long in breaking in to, to move to building equity, as we talked about. And so I can tell you about uh, one, which is a perfect transition. He did a, he did a masterful, masterful transition and actually built an entire career um, just just going into these two phases and built a wealth of uh, $7 billion. Please tell us. Yeah. So, so this is actually, um, this is, uh, this guy basically started out as a computer programmer, which a lot of people do. Right. And he was working at compact computer. Um, and, um, and he, sorry. So, so, uh, so he started at compact computer a couple of years at compact and, and it's, it's very common to finish college. And I'm not at all advocating that, you know, you got to start building equity and quit college. I'm not at all advocating for that. Um, but this is a very common thing. You finish college and then a couple of years in an industry that you want to analyze and then you go get your MBA and then you come out on Wall Street as an analyst in, you know, post MBA. And this is a great way to do it, to break into investment banking if you haven't figured that out by the age of 16 or something like that and do it straight out of college. Um, so this is so this is what this is what Bill Gurley did. He w worked at he was from Texas, worked at Compact Computer straight out of college, and then um, went and got his MBA. Then he was on um, Wall Street as a top analyst, covering all these computer PCs and stuff. And as you know, you know PCs kind of grew. I mean, Dell Dell was a fantastic growth company for a while, but in general they're not the sexiest companies. Um, and this was in the late nineties. I knew him personally. Um, I was on the, I was on the buy side in New York when he was on the sell side. Then Deutsche Bank. Now he saw Now This is one of the other thing I like to talk about is you, you have your head down, you're working hard for your career, but there are these moments in time where you need to kind of look around and pause and say, is there a major change happening? And that's what Bill did very successfully. Deutsche Bank, from, which was uh, from Germany, said, hey, we want to build a U.S. team. There's all this excitement around Internet and technology. And then late 90s, tech was just going up you know, huge every year. That was when my fund was up uh, 500% or 493% in 1999. And um, so they said to him, you know, we want you on your team. You're on our team. You're institutional investor rank number one, et cetera. And smartly, he said, the only way that I'm leaving First Boston to join Deutsche Bank is if I get the internet, if I if I'm the if I'm the internet analyst, and so he was able to use that that desire for his skills to move from being a computer analyst to being an internet analyst. Deutsche Bank's a large company with a lot of assets behind them, and so he was able to win the Amazon deal, and he took Amazon public. So now he is looked at, and think about this: this is using your career to create a narrative of how other people look at you. He's now no longer looked at as a PC guy. He's looked at as a platform guy. Then he joins Benchmark as a general partner, takes Uber, you know, invests in Uber and is worth $7 billion. So typically then I say the breakout phase would be if, if Bill would go and start his own company, but he has no need to do that, right? He's already made $7 billion. Now, the very richest people in the world, like a Bill Gates and Elon Musk, are all in that third phase where they have gone and taken the biggest risk of starting their own company, and they've made it big. Okay, phenomenal. I'm going to try to encapsulate that because there was so much, so much wisdom there. And um, of course, she wrote a book on this. If you're curious, it's called "Building a Hundred Million Dollar Career." I believe that's the book name. Hundred uh, million dollar careers. Yeah. Hundred million dollar career. Yeah. And so uh, you can get the book as well. But it sounds like this gentleman, Bill Gurley, he took his, you know, he went to school computer 
graduate, starts working, gets some general general understanding of some working and in the insides of a computer, moves to an MBA, and then moves that into like investment banking, sees a big major opportunity, jumps on that and says, I want to be a part of the, the internet, part of this part of it, right? And then lands the Amazon deal, right? And so all of a sudden he's used his career to change the narrative. It's no longer, he's just a computer programmer, right? It's, he's putting these massive deals together and he's, he's connecting all the dots, right? And, and then it starts to parlay into other places like Uber. Is that a fair summary? I mean, that's an incredible story, by the way. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah, yeah. Well, if you think about what he wanted to do, there was no real venture investing. Like he wanted to get into venture capital, but there's no real venture investing in, in PCs, right? But that was, everybody that's hiring you is trying to, they're not trying to fit a round peg in a square hole. They're trying to fit a square, you know, peg into a square hole and a round peg into a round hole, right? They're just, they're like, let's get the person that we're most confident can do this job, correct? Yes. And so, so you, so, so with the beginning of the internet, you can't raise your hand and say, I want to be an internet analyst because people are like, well, what's your experience? You know, I need someone who's already been an internet analyst, something like that. But you, you know, you have the most chance to get to not do it with experience when you have something brand new like crypto or the internet um, or like AI, you have that chance. But a more assured way, which is what Bill did, was he, he basically started in computers, which is very typical. You start in computers, you get your MBA, and then you say, I'm going to analyze the computer companies I was working at because I have contacts there. I have an understanding of how computers are built. I understand what goes into the computer. So, you know, I'll be, I'll be more helpful as an investment banker, as an analyst to explain this to others, right? So that's, so that's like phase one. But he doesn't want to end up like he wants to end up in venture capital and they're building the next thing. And the next thing is not more PCs, right? There's just there's no venture investing in that. So he needs to kind of take what he knows and then shift that over. So he's got to shift that over to to Internet. And so he becomes this this asset that they really want, which is a invest, you know, II, it's called II, institutional investor, number one analyst. So they, they want that. And then he says, you're only going to get that if you give me a chance in this new area. So it's like they, that the round peg and the round hole for them was they wanted, they wanted a whole team of II number one analysts, but not everyone's going to go with them. And there were no II number one internet analysts at the time because, because like it wasn't a space yet. And so that that gave him the chance to move over. And so then he was going to be at this big wave at the beginning in venture capital, be, you know, in, you know, but he first had to do it in the public markets and, and make a big splash. And then, a, then a lot of people wanted him and he went to, now he went to a place benchmark, which is very, very, what's called flat which means that all the partners are paid equally. You don't have to have been there a long time. And so when he brought the Uber deal, even though he was fairly junior, he got a huge payday. Amazing, amazing, amazing. So it sounds like taking what you know and having, having the vision and, the, and, and, the, and the, uh, uh, taking the action, the faith that it, it could shift to a new venture, right? And a new place and, and essentially shifting, you know, by default, negotiating a deal where your career identity is not tied to the old one, although it's using and leveraging the old one. And it's, and he's, he's, he's seizing that moment with Deutsche Bank to negotiate, to become the analyst of the internet, which then continues to move forward into that new venture. And I think that's, I think, I think yeah. I got it right. Is that yeah, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. So he's, you know, he is basically like, think of your career, like a, like a startup right? He's building, he's pivoting, he's listening to feedback and, and he's building towards where all the opportunities are. Yep. Makes perfect sense. 